I originally purchased the Sony XM5 because they were so highly rated in every article I read. I returned the XM5, got the XM4 and am so much happier. I'll compare the XM4 to the XM5, Apple AirPods Max, and Bose QuietComfort 45 just to help anyone choosing between them. Noise Cancellation 4.5 out of 5 The noise cancellation on the XM4 is crazy, almost comparable to the Apple AirPods Max. I gave the XM4 a 4.5 because I still think the Apple AirPods Max have the best noise cancellation, but the Sony XM4 is very close. I also like the fact that you can turn noise cancelling on off with a button, which is a feature not available with the Bose QuietComfort 45. The noise cancellation is much better than the XM5 and less finicky. An issue with the XM5 is that the noise cancelling would just randomly turn on off. Like if I paused a video for a little too long, the noise cancellation would just turn off overall. I wouldn't say I it blocks out all sound, but it's close. I can hear the sound of people talking and music, but it's quieter and I can't make out the words. I definitely can't have a conversation with them on. Also, the XM4 will pick up on when you're talking to people and turn the noise cancelling off for you. But it does make a little announcement when it does that may be annoying or disruptive. Sound quality, 4 out of 5 the sound quality is great. Way better than the XM5, not as great as the Apple AirPods Max. I think the Apple headphones are just a little crisper. I think it's cool that you can turn 360 sound on, but TBH, I never really use it. XM5 also has this feature. The sound is clear, and I haven't experienced any malfunctions issues with the noise. When I had the XM5, they would just randomly sound muffled, like I was underwater, and when that wasn't happening, the sound quality was mediocre. Comfort, five out of five, the XM4S are really comfy. I wear glasses with plastic frames, and a lot of headphones just don't work and are really uncomfy. The Apple AirPods Max were really uncomfortable with my glasses. Obviously, an easy solution is to just wear contacts, but I hate wearing my contacts for long periods of time, especially when I study do work. The XM5 were also pretty comfortable, but wouldn't stay fixed when I adjusted them, they would slip and I would need to readjust them a lot. The XM4 completely cover my ear and the ear pads are soft. They don't squeeze my head the way other headphones do and they don't hurt any part of my ear. I will say that the headband part that rests on top of my head does kind of hurt my head after wearing them for almost 10 hours. Also, I have TMJ so sometimes wearing the headphones does cause my TMJ to flare up and I'll switch to earbuds. But, I think overall these are the most comfortable headphones I have tried. Product quality, 3.5 out of 5 let's be honest, they're plastic and they feel plastic. They don't feel like super high quality, but let me tell you that they feel way better quality than the XM5, those felt like a Barbie toy. I think the XM4 are sturdy and pretty durable. The Apple AirPods Max are also plastic, but do feel a little more high quality, but also, nothing spectacular. Aesthetic, 3.5 out of 5 if the aesthetic is important to you, I would say they look fine. They're a little bulky, but not terrible. Not as sleek as some others, but they don't look ridiculous. If you're really against a bulky look, then they may not be a great aesthetic match for you. I was worried they would be really clunky, but after getting them and wearing them for a bit, I really don't think they look bad. Connectivity, four out of five, I only have Apple devices, iPhone, MacBook, etc., and I think the connectivity is great with these products. When I got the XM5, they had so many connection issues. I wasn't able to connect them to my laptop, they wouldn't stay connected to my devices, it was a mess. I was really worried I would have the same issues with the XM4, but I have had no problems so far. I will say it was a little odd to have have to download the Sony Connect app and manage the headphone through that platform, but it's user-friendly and it's kind of nice to have a control for them, it's almost like a remote. Battery life, 5 out of 5 the battery life is insane. I've had them for 8 days and have not charged them yet, they still have about 40% charge left. They will turn off automatically to save battery life if you don't use them for a certain amount of time, which I personally like. Overall, 4.5 and 5 I think the XM4 are great headphones for a better price than the Apple AirPods Max. The Bose are apparently really similar, but I've never personally tried them. The XM4 is much better than the XM5 in terms of quality and price. They're comfy, great noise cancellation and sound quality, and have great battery life.